but not because of its venom. What is it? The lion. Yeah. <laughs> it's the common lionfish, aka the double firefish. It doesn't take much to make a difference in our ecosystem. Sometimes all it takes is eating a specific fish. But why should you care about one fish? You like to breathe, don't you? 50% to 85% of our oxygen is produced by reefs. More specifically, phytoplankton. They use photosynthesis to create oxygen. 1% of our ocean surface is coral reefs. I've been diving for a little over a year now, and I personally have seen the effects of lionfish on our reefs. Our reefs, once abundant with life, now barren. So today I will explain lionfish, where lionfish came from, their problem, how it affects us, what is being done about the lionfish invasion, and what you can do about it. Lionfish are a popular ornamental fish, which means they're popular in home aquariums. They originate in the Indo-Pacific Ocean, but we aren't certain how they exactly got here. Some theories suggest that hobbyists released them into our waters, which then allowed them to breed. Other theories suggest that the fish got caught in the ballast water of a barge, which basically is the water that the barge takes in to counteract the weight of the cargo. The first sighting of a lionfish was in 1980s, but it wasn't exactly certain that they were here until 2009. The, however, lionfish have not been connected to the lionfish found in the Bahamas. The lionfish that most commonly found in Florida is Teros miles, where in Bahamas it's Teros ball time. What's so terrible about the foreign species that it's like in our water though? The lionfish, as a, uh, according to Taming the Lionfish by Jeff McGregor, have no pre predators here and reproduce all year long. Mm -hmm. A mature female fi lionfish can release roughly two million eggs per year and are widely dispersed by ocean currents. These eggs also produce a strong current, which means they have a high normal survival rate. This is a slideshow, which is not <coughs> okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. uh, it was showing how the uh, spread started. So it starts at the southern tip of Florida and spreads along the current. Lionfish, as I said, were not labeled an invasive species until 2009. Since then, researchers have wanted to learn everything there is to know about these fish. Lionfish have 18 dorsal spines, which makes them less appealing to natural predators in our waters. Because of their high larval survival rate, young sexual maturity age, and the ability to mate year-round, their populations skyrocket. They end up eating 30 times their own stomach volume, and a single lionfish can, recruit, can reduce the recruitment of native lionfish, native fish species by 79%. They're great hunters. You must slow a camera down to 400 plus frames per second to see the jaws, which means it captures its prey in just 50 milliseconds or 0 0.05 seconds. Uh, the, with the lionfish appetite, it can leave our reefs barren. With little or no fish, the bigger fish like snapper and grouper can either die or move on to find more food. The effects move up the food chain. And if something is not done about the infestation, the phytoplankton will die and there will be no ox more oxygen produced by these animals. Without oxygen, there's no more life. But what's being done about the infestation? The Reef Environmental Education Foundation, aka Reef, started a lionfish derby in 2009. The first derby that was held removed around 1,408 lionfish from our waters. 
The Derby was put into place to educate the public about our invasion. To participate in the Derby, you must pay an entrance fee of $120. And once the competition starts, you have from the start time to around five o'clock or sundown to bring in the fish and turn them into the judges. From there, you will, the judges will weigh the lion, lion fish, measure them, and turn them into either researchers for research, or we'll make fresh lion fish right there in front of you. Uh, lion fish, although venomous, meaning if a toxin is ingested in, injected into the bloodstream, is harmful. If you taste it or touch it, it is harmless and also delicious to eat. The only weakness of the lion fish is its taste. The, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation has made hunting lionfish a free-for-all, meaning that there is no need for a li license or paying a fee for catching the fish. Now what can you do that doesn't involve getting in the water? Like ordinary people, maybe getting in the water to kill fish isn't your cup of tea. But you can always go to a local restaurant and eat the fish. <laughs> it's good, I mean, why not? If you don't eat fish, bring a friend. Get yourself a salad, have the friend eat the fish for you. <laughs> or you can go to the Derby. The Lionfish Derby has educational booths and uh, merchandise that you can buy that support the clean. Now in conclusion, keep in mind, not all pretty fish are meant to be in our oceans. And I hope that you take into the explanation of damage caused by them, what is being done to stop it, and what you can do to help the infestation. And hopefully next time, you'll think twice about removing the fish, or releasing the fish into the ocean. Disclaimer, I do not support any unauthorized, untrained people catching lionfish, because I'm not being responsible if you guys get hurt. Mm -hmm. Also, don't dive without the proper equipment or training. I'm also not responsible for that. Mm -hmm.